Hey everyone, Jason here. Today I'm gonna to show you this mini golf inspired maze that I designed. But before I do that, today is a pretty exciting day for me as it is the official release date of my Lego Maze idea set. I've already made several videos about the set, so I'm not gonna drone on about it again here, except to say that I have consolidated all of my posts, videos, instructions for additional mazes, and other relevant information about the set on the maze page of my website, which you can see at jkbrickworks.com slash maze. Now we'll take a closer look at this one. I really wanted to start experimenting with different pieces to see what kind of interesting obstacles I could make. Crystal suggested I design a mini golf inspired maze, which I thought was a great idea since they're known for having cool obstacles you have to get around. In the first section, I have this freely swinging block which is pretty interesting because you can get it swinging back and forth quite well by tilting the maze. It's really not very predictable though. So sometimes you get the ball through quite easily and sometimes it seems to take forever. In the next section, I tried using some of these curved bricks for walls, which I think have really good potential for some interesting maze designs. I also have a bridge here made up of these curved slopes which means you really have to carry the ball's momentum through the curved bricks so that it can make it over the bridge. It's actually a really fun little move once you get the hang of it. After that I have this rolling gate which you can open and close by tilting the maze. I really like the idea of having obstacles that are essentially powered by the tilting of the maze. It really adds a more dynamic element to the mazes. For the gate, I'm using one of these old Lego hockey pucks, which were part of the short-lived line of NHL sets. But you could just as easily use one of these Technic pulleys, for example. And for the last section, I have some curved pieces here to add some bumps leading up to the spinning windmill, which is a classic mini golf obstacle. And here I'm using one of these old nine volt micro motors which I don't think have been produced since sometime around 2001. It's a real shame there's no small motor in the power function system because being able to hide a motor like this in a model is pretty awesome sometimes. In this case, I'm using the motor itself as part of the structure and I have a power line running through the base of the maze and out to one of these old nine volt regulators. I guess that's about all there is to it. As I have said before, I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with for interesting maze designs. And I just wanna thank everyone again who supported the maze project on Lego Ideas. As always, thanks for watching, keep on building, and I will see you next time.